Good morning, my little cubs. It's Saber. Um, <clears throat> today we're going to be playing a new game called Disturbed. Um, what I've seen on Steam, it looks to be another um, graphic novel type of a thing. Uh, it looks to be kind of like the um, Into the Well game that I did, which I still need to... Um, I still do need to play out some other parts of it, which I do plan on doing. If y'all want me to, let me know. And yes, y'all are seeing the little pieces on the side because the game is a smaller window. And, sorry, I couldn't get it to work as well in the, um, in the full screen mode, so I'm just doing like this. But anyways, let's get right into it, shall we? Another dull day passes as you struggle to manage your failing farm. Your crops are beginning to wilt, and your cow is sick. For some time, the land has been very quiet. The air has grown thick and foul. Each passing day, you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to how they were before. Perhaps it is up to you. You've made up your mind. You are going to do something about it. You stand in front of your humble home, pondering what you should do next. Well, let's try the shed. You attempt to open the shed door, but the door wouldn't budge. You remember locking it some time ago, but you can't remember what you did with the key. Well, of course. Let's go to the house. Entering the house, you feel a subtle uneasiness, as if the growing blight outside has penetrated the walls of your safe haven. From what you see, however, everything is the same as you left it. Perhaps this is... Perhaps this may be a good time to just lay in bed and wish that your problems would just go away. You fight the notion, but the temptation is still there. Let's open chest. You open the chest and find nothing more than a pile of papers. It seems you have less valuables than you anticipated. You close the chest. Let me check something real quick. Let me do this, and I'm looking directly at the camera as I read. Sorry, my nose itches. My allergies are acting up. Uh, I have a rowdy on the bed. Um, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. And I have coffee. Which is going to get edited out. Anyways. Let's read the journal. Dear Journal, another usual day on the farm. The crops are growing with good health. Bethany is doing quite well, never disappointed with the milk she provides. If things continue to go well, I may be able to invest in more animals. A farmer can only be so social with a cow. If you're talking to a cow, you might be kind of crazy. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Da, da, da. Dear Journal, today has been an unfortunate day. Somebody broke into my shed and stole my things. Stole some things. I usually don't mind if someone steals a bite to eat from the garden. But take my equipment? Well, I put a lock on the door and hid the key. Nobody will ever get into my stuff again. Yeah, not even you, you ass. Da da da. <laughs> Dear Journal, I woke one night to a foul smell I have never come across before. I took a step outside to see what I could find, but I found nothing after searching about the farm. Whatever it is, it must be bad. Well, duh. I should make a trip into the city to see what this is about. Well, probably the smell of death is what I would guess. Da da da. Okay. Tempted to lay in the bed. Let's see what happens. You lay in your bed and fall asleep to the light sound of wind blowing outside against the grass. 
You begin to hear whispers and chants, but you can't make anything out of it. An image appears before you, a stone, glowing as if it were alive. The chants get louder as your vision grows in more detail. You reach toward the stone with your hand. As your finger makes contact, a clash of thunder rattles around you. Your clothing and skin start to flake away like dust in the wind. God, now that song's going to be in my head. The particles flow into the stone, sapping the life from your body. You feel pain you have never experienced before, and fear begins to flood over you. Of course, you suddenly see yourself laying in bed, never to wake up again. Well, okay, let's try this again. Your adventure ends here. Let's go to the crops. A path divides the crops you have labored so hard to prosper these past months. A penetrating odor reminds you that your plants are decaying away, and time is running short. Go to the pen. Okay, a toxic fume burns your nose as you enter the pen. Your cow lays lifeless on the ground as a growing blight slowly begins to consume her body. You feel sick to your stomach as you stand there, especially as you stare at the black mushrooms that dot the cloud, the ground. Seems like the water. You inspect the water, looking for anything abnormal. You notice that the water has a dark consistency to it. Dropping a stone into it, black particles from uh, the bottom swirl around about like a thunderstorm. I swear I'm good at reading. Um, your face shrivels in disgust. Ugh. Let's grab a mushroom, see what happens. You kneel down and grab a mushroom. As you begin to rip it out of the ground, a cloud of spores spray from the mushroom. Your hands begin to turn, to burn and melt as you observe them. I don't know why they put that word begins when it's begin. Sorry. Slowly, your body shrivels up into a dark, moist consistency as the poison spreads. You die eventually. After crawling about on the ground, your adventure ends here. Okay, this time I decided to follow the path. You continue down the trail for a while until you see a cave off in the distance. You pause, questioning if there could be something helpful in there. Let's go to the cave. A th there's a faint whistle from the wind passing between the rocks. The temperature significantly cools as you enter the cave. You notice there's a different smell, but you welcome it, comparing it to the deathly blight found outside. Let me save real quick. Let's go further into the cave. Well, okay. There's a bear. Before you take your next step, a large bear emerges from the darkness. You realize that you have made a terrible mistake even thinking that something helpful could be in there. Okay, so you either fight the bear or you run. Logical explanations. Fighting the bear, you're gonna die because they're stronger. Running away, you're gonna die because they're faster. So it's a case of do you want to go out fighting or do you want to go out running away? Let's fight. You scan the ground and notice that there are numerous rocks you can grab and throw at the bear. You begin to do so as the bear approaches you. One after the other, you throw the rocks as hard as you can. Okay. Hello. The bear charges at you as you bend over to grab another rock. Tackling you to the ground, the bear decide the bear bites into your neck. Your body quickly goes limp and you die. Your adventure ends here. Okay. Well, when we go back, I think I'm gonna end it here, guys. I know that's only a little bitty bit of a video. It's just something. Um wanted to give y'all a taste of this. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to continue this. More than likely I will anyways, because 
I kind of like this game and I want to see how it plays out. Um, it was a free to play that I found on Steam and I just figured, okay, why not? But anyways, if you guys like this video, leave a like right down below, comment, subscribe hopefully, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!